Hey nerds, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be opening the 2020 summer edition of the Nick Box. You guys have seen me open a bunch of these before. If you are new to the channel, I am subscribed to the Nick Box created by Culturefly. So we're just gonna kind of go through and check out all the content. But from the spoilers that I saw, this does not look like it's gonna be my favorite box, which is a bummer because I love summer stuff. I don't like summer because it's hot, even though my birthday's in the summer. But still. Anyways, let's just go ahead and jump into this box. Okay, so like usual, let's go ahead and check out what is on the box. So the box is featuring multiple of our Nicktoons. We have Rocco and Heffa and Stumpy and Otto and Reggie, uh, Phil, Lil, and Tommy over there relaxing in a little uh, floaty. Then on the back, um, Ren and Stimpy, Twister, Sammy, Chucky, Teddy Bear, and then on the side it says Frank's Nude Beach. No shoes, no shirt, no pants, no problem. That is so inappropriate. Um, and then we got Gary down there. And then on this side we have Arnold and Gerald. Um, I feel like they just slapped on Arnold and Gerald there with this like background. They don't really look like they fit. Like they don't look summer themed. And then on the inside of the box, um, this is the print that we have. It's just a bunch of repeats of the stuff that's on the outside of the box. Um, they just kind of stencil it on like a continuous pattern. We do have SpongeBob and Patrick there though. I don't know if you can see them right there. I don't think they were on the outside of the box. All right, so we got our spoiler card. Tells us all the stuff that's inside. We're gonna go ahead and put that to the side. Um, yeah, we're just gonna jump in. Looks like we have two figures. Um, so let's go with the first one that I already knew was in here. First one that we got is Surfin' Dreams Spongebob. Um, so this is a vinyl figure of Spongebob holding a surfboard. Um, I'm probably not gonna keep this item, but let's see if we can peel it open a little bit so I can give you a bit of a closer view. Cause it looks like there's not that many things in this box, so I'll try to open them all up if I can. Okay, so this is him. This is Spongebob. I went ahead and just kept on the bottom plastic, but yeah, so this is Spongebob. There he is with the surfboard. He's standing on some sand there and he's wearing his little swimming trunks. Um, and yeah, not much else to say about that. I do like the surfboard. It's, it's done well. I like the, I like the Spongebob figure. He looks good. Um, you know, it's just like thin vinyl, kind of like a bath toy is what it feels like when you squeeze it. So yeah, that's pretty, it's pretty dope. I still don't know that I'm going to keep it though because I'm trying to rearrange the nerd cave some and like collect different things. And I already have so much Spongebob stuff. Like you can see on this shelf here, it's a ton of Spongebob stuff. But then on the shelf above it, that one's dedicated to Spongebob. So we'll kind of see what I do. I might keep it, I might not. If I don't keep it, then it's up for grabs and a giveaway, which should be coming up super soon. Maybe this Sunday, stay tuned. Um, or... I will, uh, what will I do? Or I'll sell it, so, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and open the second figure. The second one that we got is Vacation Ren. I'm definitely not keeping this because if you guys know me, if you've been around for a while, I hate Ren and Stimpy. Um, I never watched it growing up, but the reason I'm not mad is because this Ren matches the Stimpy that we got in a previous box um, where he has like, a floral button-up shirt, I think, and he's holding a camera. Okay, I had to make sure he's not on the shelf, but I'm, I didn't keep him. Um, oh, actually, if you look at the artwork on the box, it's this Stimpy right here. Um, that's what we already have a vinyl figure of. So those are up for sale, trade, potentially the giveaway that's coming. Um, kind of up to you guys. If you are interested in any of the stuff that I say I'm not keeping, feel free to hit me up on Instagram in my DMs or send me an email at nerdymomo93 at gmail.com. Um, yeah. All right, the next thing that we got is Surfing Arnold slider pin. Um, so we have an enamel pin. So this is what it looks like. Um, again, it's a Surfing Arnold slider pin. Um, 
and it actually, like it says, it slides and moves kind of like he's surfing. That's not a feature that I really care about or need. It honestly does not make the pin any more cool, just maybe a little more annoying. Um, but the pin itself is pretty nice. Um, it's just Arnold surfing and you know, I have uh, pin boards. So they're moving to Nerdy Island, um, so you won't really see them because they kept falling off my door. They used to be here and you would have seen them in the background, but they kept falling and then banging when I opened the door. And so they're just gonna go to Nerdy Island. I'm probably gonna put like a poster or something there um, when I get one. I've been not buying posters because I don't have space, but now I might. Or maybe I'll just fill it with a bunch of prints that I have, that space and the space next to my TV. Who knows? Okay, I'm rambling. But that's a dope pin. It's pretty darn heavy and it has double backed. Um, so that's usually how you know it's a larger pin. The next thing that we got is a Rocco's Modern Life item. It is spunky as an ice pack. Um, what did I call him at the beginning? I don't think I called him Spunky. I don't remember what I said his name was. Anyways, so this is spunky as an ice pack. Um, it's literally just him as a block of ice, like from a scene in the show. And then it's just, an ice pack that you like throw in the freezer and then you put inside your cooler to make keep stuff cool. I don't really care too much for this item. Um, it feel, it's kind of lame to me. Like, I don't know. All right, the next item has been calling my name since I opened the box. So it's something that's wrapped up, but I love the colors and it says the Nick box right there. So let's go ahead and pop it open and see what it is. Oh, okay, okay, oh. All right, so it's like a tote bag, um, and it has the same imagery from the front of the box printed on the tote bag. Literally the exact same thing um, from when I showed you guys on the bag, I mean on the box. Um, it, I think it's kind of thin. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's kind of thin. You can see the width better at the bottom. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty thin. Like throw some books and some reading material in here and stuff like that. Um, and then the reason I said on, oh, I didn't really like it as much. The front is printed really well. It's really dope. I like that and I love the colors. But then the back is just like a solid field of green. Wah, wah. Okay. Next we have from one of my favorite fandoms. We have Rocket Power here. This looks to be one of those cell phone holders for when you're going out into the water. Um, so you pop it open. Oh, it got a little key. Oh, that's kind of dope though. I might move that to my keys or something. It's got a little key ring there that says rocket power. It's a little clip on right there. That's pretty dope. So Velcro's there and then you unroll this and then you open it. It's like a Ziploc bag, like three layer Ziploc to try to really keep the water out. I thought the little, the picture was gonna be on the front so that like you would stick your phone on the other side, but now when you stick your phone in, you're not gonna be able to see the rocket power imagery at all. Like you'll be able to see it kind of see through back there, but when your phone is in the front, that was such a missed opportunity. Come on, culture fly. Dang, that sucks. So as soon as I stick my phone in there, let's see. As soon as I stick my phone in, you can't see rocket power anymore. Like you can kind of sort of barely see that, but that does not count. My phone totally blocks it. That is so lame. What the heck? Why would you guys do that? I was kind of disappointed when I saw it was a cell phone holder. Then I was like, that could be kind of cool. You know, to have rocket power with you or whatever. But that's super lame. All right, looks like we got two items left. One item and one shirt. So the last item, inflatable Reptar drink holder. As advertised, it's just a little floaty that you throw a drink into and then your drink can float in the pool with you. Would not recommend the ocean because that thing is gonna run away from you. But um, ah, this is a miss for me. I am not feeling this floaty. Like, I mean, it's a cool little novelty thing, but I don't know. I am not feeling this box. All right, the bottom has all the trademark informations and stuff, you know, you know. All right, let's move on to the last thing, which is the t-shirt. I love the color, but I'm kind of bummed because you guys know I don't really like all real monsters. Um, so we got Ickis here riding a wave. Um, the wave is our pocket. And if you move the pocket, 
it's really nothing. It's just him on a trash can lid. And then the design on the back, 26th annual Great Wave competition, 1994. I was one. Um, okay, wow, so toilet waves is what they're writing. But, I mean, I really like the color of the shirt. I like the concept of the shirt. I would absolutely love it if it was a different show. So, like, such a missed opportunity to do rocket power. Like, put that mess on the cell phone holder that I'm not gonna use, that I think is stupid, and put rocket power on the surfing shirt. Like, culture fly, what? are you doing let me come work for you let me be like a real customer liaison or something like that because y'all are y'all are dropping the ball for me um yeah so that's the last item in the box <sighs> okay i think that personally if i was gonna rate the box it'd probably be somewhere like a two for me um two out of five because i'm not feeling it i don't really want any of the things in the box to be honest but that's gonna do it for me in this video guys if you like this video feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below and while you're down there let me know in the comments what did you think of this box is this high up there for you like one of your favorites or is it kind of down low like it is for me i don't know even though the fandoms that i liked were in here i just was not rocking with it i don't i don't know tell me what you think if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay in the know of all the nerdy. And hit that bell notification and be sure to share this video and my channel with anybody that you think may enjoy. But as always guys, remember, keep it nerdy.